If you ever find yourself waking up sluggish or just not in the best of mood, that's when you should start to incorporate a healthier routine and give yourself some sacred time starting at night before you lay down for bed. And so things that have really helped make the difference in how I wake up has been how I, you know, go to sleep and what I do before, you know, that happens. And most times, all the time, I'm disconnected by 7.30, 8 o'clock from social media. I make sure that I don't eat or put anything in my body that is solid after 7, 7.30, 8, pushing it, and it's really light if so. And also, journaling. If I, if, if I miss the type of journaling session that I usually want to do, which is like a reflective type, I make sure to do it at night. Um, because I find it even more useful in that sense because you have went through your day and at night which is the conclusion you're able to sit down and reflect and to release uh, any thoughts any feelings um, that you may have experienced during that time um, of your day which is key and important because this will free your mind and your soul um, from being so heavy with it um, still within you when you lay down for bed. And so you have given yourself this peace uh, around you before even um, going to bed. And so just having sacred time at night, at least an hour minimum for yourself but you know three hours or so and you know disconnecting at a reasonable time from social media will definitely help because you're not having the constant worries and negative energies or whatever it may be from others from who's post and content that you consumed and that's why it's important to be mindful of you know what we consume in every way because it has effects on our mind body and soul and um that will just you know cause you to wake up in unease and so what i've learned is just giving yourself that peace and, and setting that environment um, up for yourself so that your rest is actually rest. Um, and that makes all the difference because your light, your body's light, it's not heavy with food that, it, that wasn't able to process because you know it, anything that you eat late at night does not thoroughly process and um, was not eliminated so that's why you find yourself waking up heavy waking up sluggish like oh uh, that's where that comes from and that unease in the mind waking up already wondering and and allowing what your day is going to be like to to already put you in this this state of mind and that's why it's important to also wake up with intention because then you will start to notice you've already laid those things out so there isn't anything that 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 you need to have that will offset your mental state um and then too when you wake up, it's break fast. And so 
How are you breaking that fast? Well, if you ate late at night, you're still in pretty much this cycle of now releasing toxic waste because anything that isn't released, um, especially uh, within some hours after eating, or um, and definitely most importantly before going to bed, will become toxic waste in the body. Um, and it's definitely important to release that because it will affect the gut health, which will uh, affect the mental and emotional health. And so that's been key for me to just be as mindful as possible of these habits and just making sure to adopt the most healthiest habit uh, for my health and well-being and this will just help to help you to see how 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 much of a difference it makes uh, from the time you go to sleep until the time you rise in, in the in the rising and you'll start to feel like a, a, a urgency like you get up with more energy uh, more excitement to life being life itself rather than dead um, and your mind is at ease it's calm and you're able to be more centered and that's important uh, and it will make all the difference and so I just wanted to just share that with you all love and vibrancy